Hello learners, welcome to this agriculture lesson. Our topic is farm power and machinery. In our last lesson, uh, we learned about, uh, uh, we compared two-stroke cycle engines and four-stroke cycle engines. In this lesson, we are going to look at uh, the differences between a petrol engine and diesel engines. Welcome, I'm Mr. Timo Nathan. Now, uh, petrol engines, uh, in some quarters they are called gasoline engines. In uh, such engines, petrol is the fuel compared to diesel. So petrol engines uses petrol as the fuel and that petrol must be atomized, vaporized and then mixed with air. So this vaporization, because petrol as a, as, as a fuel comes in liquid form and for it to function well or undergo proper combustion, it must be vaporized. So that vaporization and mixing of uh, the fuel with the air happens in the carburetor. And that uh, tells us that petrol engines have a carburetor within them to uh, achieve this vaporization of fuel and mixing with air in the correct proportions. And once that mixing is done, it is directed to the cylinders. Of course, they will get into the cylinder through the um, Air, through the inlet valve if it is a four-stroke cycle engine or through the inlet port in a two-stroke cycle engine. Uh, a very important uh, thing about petrol engine is that they are ignited by an electric spark. So any engine that has got a spark plug is basically a petrol engine because petrol is spark ignited. So they will be having uh, spark plugs to do the ignition. Now, diesel engines, on the other hand, use diesel as uh, the fuel. That's also a very important uh, point to note. And that diesel is injected into the combustion chamber after air that was uh, taken into the combustion chamber has been compressed and is at very high temperatures. So in other words, we need to understand that in diesel engines, during induction, if it is a four-stroke cycle engine, during induction it is air that is taken in, during compression it is air that is compressed, and then fuel is injected, the diesel is injected during the third stage or the third stroke, so that that diesel, once it is injected and it finds very uh, hot air that has been compressed at about 550 degrees, it will ignite and burn and therefore expand in volume producing the power in other words pushing the piston downward on the power stroke so uh, on this note we needed to understand that whereas petrol engines a spark is produced to ignite the air fuel mixture in the diesel engine it is the diesel which is injected it's introduced to the already compressed air and then ignition occurs. So it is about compression ignition, compression ignition, whereas petrol engines were spark ignited. And uh, having said that, let us uh, look at the tabulated differences between petrol and diesel engines. As we said earlier, petrol engines as a carburetor for the mix of vaporization of fuel as well as the mixing of that fuel with the air. Then uh, the diesel engine, on the other hand, has an injector pump, so they don't have a carburetor. They have an injector pump that will uh, ensure that the diesel is injected into the uh, combustion chamber. Uh, petrol uses petrol as fuel, while a diesel uh, uses diesel as fuel. So a uh, petrol engine should not be given diesel as fuel, and at the same time diesel engines should not be uh, given petrol as fuel. Then uh, petrol engines being spark ignited, they have spark plugs to produce the sparks that ignite the air fuel mixture. While uh, in diesel engines, they don't have spark plugs because as we learned in a few seconds ago, minutes ago, uh, ignition is by compression. It is air that is taken in, it is air that is compressed, then fuel is in injected, is introduced, then it just ignites because of that compressed air. Uh, the fourth difference is that uh, 
air fuel mixing is done in the carburetor. The air and the fuel mix, they meet at the carburetor and they are mixed in proper proportions, correct proportions. While in the diesel engines, the air and the fuel meet only in the combustion chamber. So for, for the petrol engines, the, the meeting of the air and fuel is before they come to the combustion chamber in the carburetor, of course. But uh, for the diesel engines, they only meet in the combustion chamber. Uh, the other differences, number five, petrol engines has a lower compression ratio and therefore they are less efficient, while diesel engines have a higher compression ratio and therefore they are more efficient. That is in terms of the amount of air that is compressed. So for petrol engines, there is less air being compressed, while in diesel engines, there is more air being compressed. Uh, petrol engines are light in weight and therefore they are suited for lighter jobs, while diesel engines are heavier in weight and suited to heavier duty. So you'll find most of the heavy uh, vehicles, trailers and whatever, they, uh, um, they tend to be diesel engines. Uh, the specific fuel consumption in petrol is higher, while uh, the specific fuel consumption is lower. Yes, and then uh, petrol engines uh, usually produce less smoke because the petrol is completely burnt. And this is because of the proper mixing of air and fuel in the carburetor. While diesel engines, uh, they produce more smoke because diesel is not completely burnt. Remember, the air and the fuel only meet in the combustion chamber, therefore the mixing may not be quite proper. Uh, the air and the fuel ratio are the last I mean, uh, comparison. The air, and fuel, air to fuel ratio is constant in petrol engines because uh, the, throat, uh, the, the carburetor mechanism ensures that the amount of air to the amount of fuel being mixed is maintained constant. And while in diesel engines, the air to fuel ratio is not constant. It varies, sometimes more air, sometimes less air, and so on and so forth. And that basically brings us to the, uh, the end of this lesson where we are comparing petrol engines to diesel engines. Thank you very much. See you next time.